let's have some After Effects fun. In the town where I was born. Here we go. Nice, funky, kind of 60s style animation there. So let's like take it from the top, put this together. Let's do a new comp. I'm going to call this uh, Sub 2. I'll call you that. Sub 2. There we go. 10 seconds long, 1920, 1080, 25 frames per second. Uh, whatever you want. There we go. And okay, so. First of all, I'm going to create the wavy blue background. So I'm going to create a new solid and make it the colour, a nice sort of sea blue. That's some kind of bright, some, uh, that should do it. Okay. Now, uh, what I was going to put on this, go to my effects and presets, is the wave warp effect okay but there's a slight problem okay so here we go so I could take, you can see that it's chopping off the ends you see right across the top and the bottom all right and I want it to be smooth you know and if I take make this smaller well that's not good it's still you know and, and the pinning obviously if I pin it it just it just pins the whole thing straight so let me just undo all that. So the best thing to do is to simply, I'm going to scale this down a little bit. So I've got some edge. That's all good. And then good old friend, pre-compose. going to pre-compose this layer and call it water. And choose to move all attributes into the new composition. Boom. Now, when I put the wave warp on, I've got ripples. There we go. And I can maybe make them a bit wider. Maybe even a little. Not too much, just want it quite subtle. There we go, that should do. Might change the direction a little bit. Make it a little. Uh, maybe a little faster. I'm just going to take the resolution down a little bit, just so it plays a bit faster. Okay, I quite like that speed. Okay. As, as always with these things, play about yourself, do what you like, but that's going to work for me. And now I just need to animate this. So I'm going to hit P, position, move it down, add a keyframe, and then let's say I have it about, I don't know, about three seconds perhaps. I always change it. And let's just move it up. So it fills the centre of the screen. And that's where our text will go when we're done. So we got this. Now I want to have some bubbles with that. So I'm going to go new solid. I'm going to make this solid white. Okay, I'm going to call it bubbles. Okay, and put the bubbles effect on. There we go, CC bubbles. But I want them, I don't want the bubbles going out of the water. So I'm just going to hit P on this again, move it down just so that layer kind of at the top there. That should do. Then I'm going to parent that to the water. So they're just going to move up together. And then the bubbles will just keep going. That's all nice. And then I just need to go get some submarines so let me take this one and drop that there maybe make it a little smaller and just wait until the actual waters kind of and hit p and i'm going to animate it so it goes all the way across to the other side okay that's going to do i'm going to take this one go scale it down a little again take it P position it off I might position this one a bit lower and hit a keyframe and have it go across that way and maybe I'll have these Hit this bottom one, hit the position, grab the handles, 
I can move the whole thing up a bit. So this is going to just go, oops, fit. There we go. I might just make that whole thing a little, a little slower. And then the third one, I have doing a, a slightly different move. Again, I'll scale it down. Let's fit that there. And I'm just going to hit P for position. And just do, kind of pull it up, all the way across, but use the handles. There we go, to give it a bit more of a, a curve. Let's see how that looks. Oh, a bit fast. Have that going slower, a bit later. Okay, that, that's kind of cool. Might have that a bit higher. Perhaps. Just. Okay. Yeah, quite like that. And then I'm going to take all of this. Command A to select all. Layer. I'm going to pre-compose the whole lot. And call it, um, I'll call it background. Move everything into there. And then I'll create a new solid. I'll make it the colour of this. And move that. And this will be my, I'll call this yellow. Yellow background. There we go. So, no, what's what? Boom, boom, boom. Full again, okay, and then I'm going to get some text. I'm going to type in yellow. Oops, a little submarine. Let's just sort out the text quickly. So I'll take the submarine word, make that a bit smaller. Go, it fits. I'll just use my align tool and I can align this text up in the center. And then I'm going to go to my modes and on this background layer, I'm going to choose track mat, alpha mat, yellow submarine, the text. And then we've got ourselves our cool little animation there. Now you can see there they could just got a bit of the submarine in there, which you don't want. And so all I need to do is just go back into here and just hit the keyframes there, hit U off the screen. Okay, go back to here. It's nice. I kind of like this grey fella to be a little higher, so I'm just going to click on that, that layer. Hit P, select all the keyframes, just move them all. Okay, that's good. And maybe just have that start a little later. So, I'm just going to have the background as well. Hit P. I'd like that to be a little bit faster. Okay, just, just playing about until I get something that's looking okay. That's looking all right now. Yeah, like that. And what's quite nice on this layer, not, not the text layer, but actually on the background layer, because remember, the text layer is actually not visible now, so I need to do this to the background layer. Let's go to layer. I'm going to go to layer styles, and I'm going to choose bevel and emboss, just to give it that nice kind of cartoony edge there. And quite simple, but effective. There we go. Good old After Effects. Thanks for watching.